Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And to my supportive subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always, just thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And, you know... If you have anybody who really, you know, you really dig in the video and you really love to share and say, hey, you ought to listen to this chick. She's pretty cool. You know, go ahead and share it. It was truly appreciated. So with that being said, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video. Y'all, I'm changing up my, my intro. You know, it's New Year trying to do a new thing and, you know, doing a different thing. Using a new format. Oh. So with the different, the, the video, the content of the video today, it's called Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Okas those trials and tribulations boy but no through the core they won't last for long it you know and a lot of times we it, it's hard for us to really you know grasp that concept when we're going through stuff and it's like what you mean it's not gonna last for you know everything has reason everything has a season i'm tired of hearing all that you know it's so cliche you know and i get it i understand but it's just like in, in your intuitive and your intuition is telling you already know this is just a test you already know you know, this is the place where you forgive yourself. You learn and let go. Show attitude of gratitude and let go. You know, be that, that stupid situation. <laughs> you know, and you have to be able to go through it. Um, and it, it's just like being able to change. It can be very aggravating. Like, you know, I was telling y'all, I'm using the new format. And it, it can be frustrating at times. But it's being fun because I'm allowing myself to adjust to change. So I'm allowing myself to go through that. Because you'll be like, you know what, I'm done forget it you know i'm just too frustrated i can't do you know even though i could i just don't want to fake the funk when i know that i'm feeling frustrated because i want to use my platform to be able to put off what i need to allow myself to say hey this needs your attention you know you have to be able to deal with your anger and find therapeutic ways on how to get through your challenges you know and doing that so it's, it's you know when i've been used to doing a certain format for so long and then going to switch it up it can be very aggravating at times but i'm allowing myself to work with change being you know fluid you know fluid you're being liquid you move everywhere you don't have the same current but just being able to do that and just being able to have a reason to laugh instead of you're just like ah allowing yourself to be okay Let's restart and do it again, you know, back to the drawing board and just allowing yourself to be able to laugh at it, you know, not taking everything so seriously, you know, what Betty White said, you know, when you're allowing yourself to adjust and see the different things you're going through hardship and sometimes you have to be able to make a mockery of yourself by laughing, bring some kind of humor to it, ha, you know, be one of those type of situations when you're allowing yourself to just laugh. You know, sometimes it's better than just crying. You know, it's just like what y'all 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 already know. I bring out so many um, different posts and stuff like that. I try to bring out different shorts of uh, videos that are very uplifting to me. That you know made me cry tears of joy because something really you know universe really brought something to me that I, I've been in my low low moments and need something to you know show me. You know, hey. Things are getting good with you when you finally finding challenges. You know, if there's people always constantly challenging you, it's that time to see the challenge within yourself, the power within yourself. You have light. You know, if you're doing something really good, you're going to have people that are going to try to maneuver different things so it won't go in your way. And these are the things you have to be able to always try to change the perspective, your vantage point on how you see everything you go through. If you see everything in a negative source, you're going to have negative, you know, negative outcome. But when you try to be therapeutic about it and being able to say, ah, this is a test or, ah, you just trying to see how I'm going to respond to it. I'm going quick on my toes. And they're like, good, I'm proud of you. You know, and they'll say something. You can go ahead and do this. Is that a test too? You know, it's like, go ahead, take the rest of the day off. Is that a test too? You know, you always usually do do a test on a test. And they, you know, I, they be laughing at me. I be fine. I know they be like, oh my God, this girl going to make me drive to drink. And I don't drink. I'm up here. I don't even need that. I'm corporeal. I don't need all that. But she about to find, make me have a whole access of a liquor store if I keep messing around with her. <laughs> and it'll be one of those situations. I'll be like, okay, that was my test to you too. We can all do this together. You know, but it's just like you're going through trials and tribulations. There are so many different things you've went through in life where you have to 
you know, you can look, look back and see the things that you have gone through. And there's different things that you felt like, I can't make it. You know, you do the, the bridge, you know, the fingers to the bridge of the nose. And you're like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I, I just don't understand. I can't think straight. I can't move straight. I can't even speak straight. You know, it's just straight coming out sideways on me, you know. And then you look, some kind of miracle, some, you know, some kind of rescue came in and, and, and swooped you up and got you out of that. Now you're in a position of where you have to be your own rescuee. You're your own superhero. You know, you're looking for somebody to save you, you got to go look in the mirror. It's going to be yourself this time. You know, God, God is always going to protect you. God is always going to guide you. You know, you're going to have different, you know, uh, guys in your life, you know, your, your family that has passed on, you know, your ancestors that's always been in your life, the one that they chose. You, you were that one that they chose. You were the golden child. You're the chosen one, you know, and you're going through hardship on hardship, not just from your life, but your past life and your family's life too. And they were like, look, we can't allow them to deal with this by themselves. They'll fall off the rocker if they keep on, you know, when they're going through it. But I know that they hold that, that hidden treasure or power that can, that can knock down 10 million men. You know, and that's the reason why we keep allowing you to go through these things. And just being able to recognize you have the power to be able to do this. Take your power back from anything and anyone that you have let access to that. Allow yourself to meditate. Get into nature. Allow yourself to have that talk to yourself and to the universe. You know, a lot of times they want us to be able to talk to the universe before we go talk it out to people. Always take it to them first. You know, um, going through these situations, I've been you know to myself for a while and I'm actually peaceful about it because it allows me when I'm not working here I don't have any distractions away from myself and not saying people are a distraction to me but it allows me to stay focused on myself on what I really truly need to pay attention to which is very therapeutic a lot of times I'm just like ugh, you know sometimes I hate being an introvert you know like why don't you start socializing I do on social media <laughs> you know, that's the closest I want to get to anything. And they were just looking like, you need to get yourself out there. I did. And you want me to put my head on chopping block. Stop it. You know, and doing all those different things. But when I'm allowing myself to really do it, this is really, it's really therapeutic. You know, you're gaining within your power when you have no problem with being, you know, in solitude. Because this gives you a time to work on your goals. It gives you a time to have ideas on what you need to do within your life. What you need to heal from. The different strategies you need to take for the next step on those different things. Learning from your rights and wrongs and still appreciate them as the same thing. Life lessons. And these are the different things that they want you to be able to deal with. You know, trials and tribulations can really take us through changes. You know, it can have us on the verge of, of losing our mind. Having a nervous breakdown. And they know that what we're dealing with is not easy. You know, in some kind of way, in some kind of weird way, it works out. In some kind of weird way but it's just like you have to be persistent about it you have to take it day by day you know even on certain things that you know it, it, it could be out of your hands but it can really put you in a funk and that's a time where you really have to get back to yourself quiet your mind do something that you enjoy things that make you happy you know if you like watching movies go ahead and watch a movie if you watch um, if you, you like to play games, like I got the, this new thing, it's called Word Something, where you, you do it and you find a word I love. I, always, I, I think those are the, the crossword puzzles. I just didn't like the ones when you had to guess it. I didn't like those. I think that's a crossword puzzle. I don't know which ones those are, but I never liked those. Because, I mean, I like something to really stimulate my mind, but certain things like that. You know, if it's about scary movies, oh, I got you all day. I can be able to do that. But all the rest of the stuff, I'm like, nah, I'm good with that young past. Go find something else. So, you know, I try to find different apps that really stimulate my mind um, when I need to take a break from social media. Because people are like, Roz, you know, or, you know, some of my, my, my kids' moms, I mean, my kids, my kids' friends, they always call me mom. They're like, mom, you ain't been on social media. And life is like sharing my video or, you know, uh, sharing a post or, you know, trying to find me some, you know, pics to show on here or something like that. I really am not on that, you know. So I'm just trying to be, you know, expanding my you know, my platforms in different places, you know, podcasting, you know, I do my IGs every once in a while and just going through rotations of that. And, you know, and it really makes me feel good. It's very therapeutic. You know, like I tell y'all all the time, this is so therapeutic for me. Y'all are like, uh, my, my diary, my, my, you know, my soul connection of diaries on different things that I may go through. And then it's a beautiful thing. Sorry, y'all got like one wild hair that just keeps, you know, messing around with my eyelash. 
um, that I can go through something and it, it could be a blessing in disguise that I can just be vocal about something and how I went through it and how I overcome it or different things I may be able to see in a positive perspective and this may have been something that someone needed to see and then you know when I get the comments back and stuff like that and it's not like you need that reassurance at times because at times I really thought I needed that and it's just like place it there you know there you know some people are not comfortable with commenting I've had a lot of people like Rosalind I really love your videos I always don't comment all the time but I really love your videos they done helped me out through a lot and I hear it from every once in a while so I you know I brought that out you know try not to think of it negative because I used to do that it's like it's not being hurt it's not being this it's not being that so it's just like now it's just like hey if it connects it connects it's don't don't you're doing your job you're doing your part you know and that's all what it seems you know that's all what it is you know if you're putting your all into it you know even if there are certain things that you've been led to do and universe will use that as well that they they sent you in a, in a direction you gave it your all you just weren't feeling it you didn't feel passionate about that and at least you can say you know what I tried and this wasn't just working for me so I have to allow myself to really you know um say I tried on this and just cross it off and just go find something else there's sometimes that happens you know this is like prime example for me I was so happy because I love watching like uh, Bailey Syrian uh, Mike from this chapter let's give it a go you know I love him as well as uh, Christina Randall um, Eleanor um, what was that dog Ele oh my god I, I forgot Eleanor's last name I know she's from overseas and she does crime mm -hmm. as well um, and uh, what was his name? Nightmare Files. Eleanor Neal, that's her name. Um, that they do, and um, and uh, Kendall, I forgot what Kendall's last name is, but she she does um, her different videos as well on crime. And I really, I was like, man, I can get into this. That ain't for everybody. <laughs> that wasn't for me. I said, well, I love horror movies and I love horror novels and I may be able to do this. No, that's not for me because when I brought that energy into my life, that mess, when I say it didn't shake off, I only did one video and that was it. It was about uh, Paris Bennett, you know, um, about that situation. Anybody who know who Paris Bennett is and his mom named Charity, you can go look that up yourself. And uh, Azuzu, uh, what is it? Uh something a, a Zuzu Muhammad Paragod or something like that he did his he's from North Carolina what he was from North Carolina and they said he had a house of a corpses house of corpses or whatever and that was just weird for me and it you know it just shook me to the core and just being able to do that and I, when I say that story stuck with me for a long time it's like with me being an anchor and be, being counter with that energy is not something that you want to keep with you especially when you, you deal with people that don't passed on already that's just not a good mix and I was like you know what did all this research and it took that one video and I said you know what this is not for me I can I, I give so many props to uh, anybody who does videos uh, Kendall Wright, that's my girl because I know that was in the back of my head like I love that girl and she does so many good things she's she's an empath as well it's like basically all of them are that I named they're all empaths and they do it and I give them so much props because you know I say if I ever get a chance to meet them I'm like how do y'all do it you know I know they ask Bailey how does she do it and she does her makeup at the same time it's like you know music what is it uh, murder mystery and makeup you know Monday and it, it, she does it and she says she has to try to find even though it's some really hurtful stuff and she tries not to take it personal she has to disconnect from that and sometimes she has to take off for a while just for her to unwind from those situations and I give them all big props there's no way in heck I could ever do that you know I love to interview them but I'm just like man I can't I don't know how you do it but I can't because it you know especially if it's something that like if you're a parent and you see something happen to another child where you can uh, relate to certain things Things that you may be reading on I don't want to embody that you know I don't want to embody that and it's just like I've seen how far I've come I was watching this one movie yesterday uh, what is the name of that movie it was on Tubi and it was just like I was trying to get out the, the horror movie genre and go to like suspense psychological thrillers or something like that but it was like the hasty house house sitter or whatever 
and it was like right when the mess was getting real juicy and I'm just like getting all in my anxiety like look man I don't know then it's going to have me over here in a vibe and I'm not trying to do it universe must have already knew that and then when it happened and that's how I knew how much I changed because when I got to that that turning point you know because I love you know the tie that binds the hand that rocks the cradle uh, uh, the good son stuff like that but all this combined it was already worse than this movie and I was just like you know what I was like wonder why it cut off and went to another movie and I'm like man wait a minute my phone I didn't touch my phone or anything like that and it was just like you know that that was a reason um, it, it was called the Twisted House Center. That's what it was. And I'm like, oh, girl, I cannot. I mean, it was giving me, you know, if you ever watch a movie that has got these cliffhangers like, go, go, go. Why are you standing there? Move, you know, different stuff like that. But when it got to that point on where a homegirl did what she did, I said, girl, you better make somebody kiss charge. I can't, <laughs> you know, I can't do this, you know. And then I was wondering why, you know, Universe switched the movie off. I'm like, wait a minute. This was, I, I was like, it was getting good, but it was getting to that point like, I don't know if I can watch this. And that let me know how much I've changed. Because any day, I could have been there and watched that. And I'd be like, man, I would have did this, that, and the third. And would have went off. But when I seen it went to the next thing, I was like, mm-mm. Uh-uh. Cast so quick. I said, let me go read my book. <laughs> you know, let me go read my book. Let me go put some meditation music on. I cannot do this. And that showed me so much. I'm not adapted to that daggone drama no more. I cannot do that. You know, this is too much for me. And when I allowed myself to do that, it's being appreciative. You know what, Rosalyn, you changed a lot. Because a lot of times we can get upset when we constantly keep going through things. It's like, why is this situation hasn't changed? Why is this? Why is that? But did you ever take notice on just how you used to do things? You may not do them that way anymore. You notice that, you know, it, take a look at your habits. Has your habits changed a lot? Is there certain things that you don't speak on? And if you speak on it, do you change your, your, your verbiage? Do you change and use discernment and being mindful of of how you speak on things you know allowing yourself to not be judgmental about things you can't judge anybody even if we have gone through things and I've said that on my channel before like I could see things that you know out on social media or whatever or it may get my attention and I may drop a, a, a comment but then I say it in a very therapeutic way I say I've been through something like this and this person needs to do this this person needs to do that you know you can't learn to let go until you learn the lessons from that and allow yourself to you know love yourself instead of putting something that is not in a loving vibration you know, and doing that, you know, I try to make it seem, you know, not make it seem, but try to make sure it never seemed like it's being harsh or as being judgmental on talking about somebody. Because I'd be like, girl, you better than me because I wouldn't have been through that. That's stupid. You stupid. This and this and that. I've been at that vibration. It's just like they could have said the same thing about you. I was like, ooh, touche. That hit where it hurts. You know, that hit, that hit where the truth is. And it's like you can't judge another person because you're going through it, especially if you've never gone through it. And then it's like you've been in that dumb moment, as you call it. You've been there in that situation. How are you going to judge somebody else? It's just the only difference between yours is better for you because it's not in public. It's not for the world to sit up here and have all this judgment on. It's not that one that's going to make you feel like, you know, you're stupid. You're already worse than what you're feeling now because this is your life is affecting. Or if you have children in it, it's your life and your children's life is affecting. So it's just like you're seeing different things through the changes you have gone through. So if you're going through that stage where you feel like, you know, the situation has not changed, but have you noticed? It's either two different things. Either you're overlooking certain things when you're paying attention to something that's not important, or there are so many different things that you allowed yourself not to let change take pace. So it's just two different things, and I've been there both times. You know, now it's just at that point where I can really say, trials and tribulations has really changed me. They make me try off. It's like the TTTs. And, you know, and just being that person where it really rerouted me to really see my power for what it truly is. You know, not every day is positive. You know, you can finally get through a day and you may be in a funk. You may not want to, you want to say a lot of things, but it ain't going to be being grateful to what they're doing. You know, you probably got a sassy mouth like me and I, I can get very sassy. I'm sass on sassy, you know. But now it's at that point where I just say, you know, even the littlest thing, I'll look up and tell God, thank you. This could have been really a lot worse. Or, 
you know, just being able to say this was very therapeutic to me and I needed to see that. I needed to go ahead and have this happen for me. And they'll be like, oh, well, you've seen this happen. This and this. I said, that's none of my business. Even if it was directed to me, it's none of my business. That's God's business, not mine. And just allow myself to go on in the universe and say, see, you're learning. And those are the things they want you to be able to pay attention to. Even though um, a lot of times we may hear and it's very like roll your eyes, side eye, you know, a lot of things that's happening to you is not happening to you, it's happening for you. You have to be able to see that. These are the things, you know, if they snatch people out your life is because they already ended. Either it's like the lesson of that connection is already ended. Y'all have already learned what you need to do. Now it's time to move on. Or there's connections that you don't know what moves they were making, the things that they were saying behind your back. You don't know what they were plotting, and you don't know what they've been shifting in. So the, the, everything is for your own benefit to be able to do that. And they always tell you never run back. You always look forward, but look look back on showing how the appreciation that helped you move forward. So allow yourself to be able to get beneficial off of that. Whatever you're going through is only for a season, you know, and it may you know it may not feel like it is going to be every, every ever be over with. I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied today. Ever be over with. But allow yourself to move day by day. Don't focus on the staircase. Only stop, you know, focus on the first step. And you just keep going. Allow yourself to keep going. Allow yourself to keep going. Because you learn so much about it when you allow yourself to heal. So I hope you were able to resonate with content in the video. And I hope to be able to connect with you tonight at 745 um, on my uh, chat. Uh, it's just regular chat tonight. So hopefully you'll be able to connect with me then. It will be truly appreciating if I can be able to connect with you spiritually and virtually. So, I would love to give a post notification shout out to God's Child, uh, Bryn Zero, Roslyn Martin, and Lauren Brandon. Much love to you and Kanisha D. Much love as well. And I'll see you on my next video. I hope you have a blessed day. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life is going to get so much bigger and better. And you're going to prop most likely... I ain't going to say probably, but most likely you're going to get it right when you least expect it. Even through social distancing, make sure you give off love and light. You know, love, light, words, frequency, if through words, frequency, and vibes. You never know. All those things that really take somebody a long way, you know. And make sure you're being, you know, safe and being responsible. You're going to see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Namaste.